I can see a little bit more people out there. So we're going to try this one more time. How's that crowd doing today? That's a lot better. My name is Megan. I have the pleasure of being your host today. But I want to start off by first introducing you to the true stars of the show. So if you your teacher on uh, the dolphin you see over there on the left-hand side, we have our three-year-old, this is Z. Looks like he's coming out to wave hello to you guys. Feel free to wave back. Very cute out there, Z. Now over here on the far right, or far right hand side, we have our 12 year old. This is Cosmo coming out to show off for you guys as well. Looks like he's just gonna be hanging out with a trainer, making quite a splash. Very cute. Now up next we have our four year old. This is Chopper coming out to show off for you guys.
start nursing. Nurse. Nursing. Now, dolphin cows will nurse for their mothers, and they can actually do so for up to three years. Now, they do this completely underwater, and they have tiny fringes on the edge of their tongue to create a watertight seal, so they don't ingest any of that salt water, only that milk. Now, I think we have one more, and we all have it on the top of our head. Hair. Do you guys see the hairy dolphins? No, that's correct. But when dolphins are first born, they do have a set of whiskers that fall off within a few days. And we believe this is so they can locate their mother's memories whenever they are learning how to nurse. Now give yourselves a round of applause for coming up with all those characters. Y'all did a great job. on the adaptations they have for surviving life in the water, mainly all those fins and flippers. And Chopper and Sebastian did a great job of showing those off for you guys today. So we're going to start with that fin that you saw on the top of the dolphin's back, known as the dorsal fin. Now the dorsal fin has no bones in it. Looks like Chopper's doing a fantastic job of showing this off for you guys. But it is stiff and rigid and helps keep them stable while they're swimming through the water at speeds up to about 20 miles per hour. Now moving on down the dolphin's body on either side we have the pectoral flippers. Now these are great for asking for an applause like Sebastian's doing. Or even dances with their trainers are waving hello. But they're even better for making those lightning quick turns and sudden stops. But I did say flippers because if you were to take an x-ray these set have them five long ones just like your own human hand. Now moving on down to the very end of the dolphin's body we have the tail fins or flukes. Check them out as they're showing this off with a nice wave. Feel free to wave back. Now there are two fins connected together by a media notch and this is also connected to the power powerhouse of the dolphin's body known as the peduncle. Now they can use the strength of this peduncle to slap the surface of the water with their tail in a common hunting technique known as a tail log. <laughs> now that behavior does make quite a splash, but it helps stun their prey, making it easier to catch. But as you would see with Skinky, they can also use that pencil to get them up and out of the water. Check out their surroundings. Now, earlier you guys, we discussed how we train, but let's actually dive a little bit closer at why we train. And that's so our dolphins can participate in their own veterinary care, also known as husbandry training. Now to help us out today, we're calling upon a special member of our audience. So please 